Let's just push it all the way. Nope, that's a that's a little bit much. I just feel like I'm fighting this thing. Uh, let's see. Do we? Yeah, let's go over to this point. Maybe I'm gonna see if I can put some uh some much needed stabilization on this thing. Mainly just reinforcement, so it doesn't freaking snap off at the neck. So it is, it is wiggle jiggling going to die. Oh, oh, oh! We know we we ran aground. That's why it's that's why it's dying. Wind sailing never go full on with the wind or against. Ten to twenty degrees from the wind. Okay. Oh yeah, go figure. This thing's kind of having its neck broken. Uh, let's see. Can I? Hmm. I mean, we could just go with the, uh, the regular. Yeah, probably less breaky. I don't actually know if any of, any of this design is going to be a, a good one. Barrels. Well, it fits. Might be too much buoyancy on the front, though. Well, if that's a, that's the case, that's the case. Okay, let's let's go. Uh, where's where's the wind going? The wind's going this way. Unfortunately, we gotta wait until the wind hits the sail. Or there it goes. I took sailing in in uh, in high school as a merit badge for summer camp. So it's not even high high school doesn't really have any bearing apart from my age. But uh, let me see if I can kind of get it in. Okay. I just feel like I'm dead in the water half the time here. I guess it's probably because small sails don't catch the wind as much, so they're slower. Maybe more maneuverable, but slower. Let's just go back. Uh, the Azeroth seems to be pretty much my best available one. Let's go back to blueprints. Hopefully that lasts. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, my designs versus discovered. I was like, where'd it go? Okay, let's let's build this, but let's do some modifications. There's not much there's not much to do. Mainly we need lighting. I'm gonna move the uh the blue torches back here. They won't snap off at a moment's notice, will they? Probably. I should probably put the narwhal horn somewhere. Uh, let's see. Now, where's the stupidest, most... Pointlessly inconvenient location I can find. There we go! Okay, so it's gonna take me a fair bit of work to get back. But I think that's okay. Let's avoid the rocks. See if I can slowly move in inwards. Yeah, this just works better. Someday I'll figure out how to get the uh, triangular sail to work. But I think without the uh, proper understanding of the physics behind it, I'm probably just going to keep uh, goofing it. Okay. It actually looks like this is just pretty functional in general. Hello. I think we just, uh, yeah, we just changed... Tears, chapters, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so we want to catch the wind a little bit. I wonder if you can, like, catch the wind and then drop it and kind of, like, coast in. That actually would make a lot of sense. 
But yeah, let's let's just head back into the center. Expand it out again. I might... F well, no, I don't really need to fly into an uh, out to an island. I don't know, ever since I discovered flight, I'm just like, I could just fly everywhere and then make the boats I want. I don't want to do that either. Ah. Uh, uh, yawn. I'm way more tired than I thought I was going to be. I've been, uh... Preempting New Year's resolutions by going to the gym this month. Uh, pre pre New Year's, old old year's resolution: go to the gym more. Uh, which has been my resolution for the past like couple of years, pretty much. Yeah, this just feels so much better. Uh, and so I've been trying to go to the gym more often, but of course it it's just a lot of work. So I'm, like, just kind of sleepy all the time. Which, I mean, really isn't that big of a deal. But, uh, every once in a while I'm just like, Why am I so tired? And the answer is, oh yeah. It's because I went out and ran for four miles today. Go figure, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Poor jellyfishes, they're just... They're just there. They're not even doing anything to me. They're just... They're just getting run over by my boat and then just stuck. Okay, let's drop the sails for a second. Yeah, they're dragging me a bit left. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much I can do to shake them. I could, like, pick them up and run off with them, maybe. Let's see, can I put lanterns at the top of sails? I didn't see any snap points anywhere, but... That actually, that would be a cool idea. Let's see. Okay, well, I mean, one way or another, we are circling our way back into where we need to go. That's really all that's needed. It'd be kind of cool if the wind would switch directions, but that would probably be a lot harder to work with from all angles. You should totally turn Invoke Storm back on with a 10 second cooldown. Sure. Let me let me drop the chimes off and we'll go into uh WTF apocalypse mode and just see what happens. It's probably I'm probably just going to get trampolined off into the universe. And it's going to look real goofy. I'm probably going to ram this island. Nope. I'm just going to barely miss it. I mean, I could stop to save here, but no, we should we should stop to save after we've dropped off the, uh... That is a random barrel. Probably from one of my many crashes. You would have thought that stuff de would despawn for, you know, the sake of not clogging the game too much. It performs pretty well, though. Mostly. It actually is a very nice seagull. Goodbye, seagull. Usually, uh, I'm, I'm used to the... Uh, Subnautica birds, which just like don't even fly right. I don't know how many of you guys saw it. I was I was actually watching my like year in review of all the things I've streamed. Apparently, I've streamed a shit ton of games this year. I we are just picking up man of war after man of war. I should probably just swim it at this point. But. uh... One of them was my moment from Subnautica, which I forgot was this year. Uh, when I, like, found out you could stand on the birds and just flew off with one. Alright. Uh, do we ditch the boat? Yeah, let's ditch the boat. Bye! Whoop! See you later! <laughs> okay, now, nope. Shift makes you go slow for some reason in this game. Farewell, boat. Oh, I left the sails up. It's just going to keep going, isn't it? I'm suddenly a little bit kind of... I wonder if I'm going to just find a random boat while I'm out and about. Okay, hold on. This is important to me. Where is this thing going to end up? I was kind of hoping it would just dash itself against the rocks. <laughs> 
Fly free, Azrath. I believe in you. Okay, let's let's go turn in the chimes and then let's see see if I can spot what happened to my boat. It looks like there's some bigger islands out there. Maybe. All right. So where where's where's Bodie McBoatface gone? Oh, there he goes. Oh, he dashed to ground on that on that island, and that's just the remains. Whoops. Let me see. Do we have a? I don't want to return to the last build station because that actually resets the the chime progress. Um. Is there? Oh yeah, there's there's the build point. Okay, so let let's get back here. Uh. I think I'm gonna let's go back to the proto or not the proto the the pyro, and I'm going to um. I'm going to spiff it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this is this is the garbage tier boat that I had in the very beginning. Uh, it's a bit short, I think. Let's make it a bit longer. I mean, the Azeroth is pretty close in design. There we go. Now I think I've got I've got yeah I've got the yellow barrels. Are they bigger? Oh, I see. We want to put one more segment in here. It won't be as long as the as. But I want to, want to get the yellow barrels on. There we go. Because if we're going to be going storm hopping, we should probably be mildly prepared for it. I'm not. This is going to go very poorly for uh, for this boat, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Do we want to move? Can I? Oh, I cannot move that back. Well, that's okay. That'll probably be fine. I wonder if I can have some spit. What the? Where is that even connected? I don't suppose I actually know. Okay, that's where I wanted it. And what? Oh, I'm going to be a sucker for optical illusions here, aren't I? Okay, that, that's a bit better. But yeah, we've got these eye poles, which I can use to, uh... Which I can use to... If I do that... Oh! The location's correct. Oh. What? Uh. Uh. Huh. This is just... Dip. Why is that? Why is that the way that it is? Okay, there, there we go. Now that fits. I was wondering why that was like off the boat. You can have boards on top of them barrels. You're right. Uh, should I do that? No, I want to have a really wide base. At least for right now. What else do we have? We want light. So let's get some lights up in here. We want to get it on that. Okay. Move this forward a tick. That's not forward. That's onto that's onto a railing. Should probably get rid of the cabin now that I'm thinking about it. Uh oop. I'm so glad you can undo. That alone makes this game just so much more convenient. Okay. Uh is that We'll just put it in the center. Okay, can I put a lantern on up top of these things? No. Really wish there were snap points on the sails themselves for the lanterns, because I don't really have a whole lot to snap it to right now. Okay, what else do I have? A ring log. Blue. Well, let's get rid of it for now. Let's... Can I get a tree log up in this? I can never tell what what is snapping to what in this game, but it's never what I wanted it to be. It's like a little bit better. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to brace that properly there. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, let's set sail. I'm pointed the wrong direction. And that already broke off. So the tiki, the tiki tor torches are not uh, not stable there. Oh, hi. Huh. You know what? Uh, yeah, no, no. Let, let's let's get the other the other tiki torch. Nice and bright. There we go. And we want to do set sail again. Let's make sure we're pointed the right direction for the wind. Oh, I am. I thought I was pointed the wrong way. Am I? Yeah, I am pointed the right way. I'm not used to these inner aisles anymore. Okay, Twitch, integration, storms. Awesome. Cooldown, 10 seconds. Uh, good luck, me. Bye. Let's see if I can get out to one of those outer islands before you guys utterly destroy me. The answer is no. Well, no, we're not. We're not. Don't count me out yet. All right, we're good. Oh, okay. I'm going to put my sail down a little bit because I feel like uh, half the time the storm even comes. It's just when the water level goes up and down so hard. Oh, boy. I, my sail's not even staying at the right angle anymore. Yet, it actually is forcibly closing my sail. That's different. Okay. Well, I've, mani I've managed to make the, the pyro uh, comparatively stable. Oh, ish creation. It's very front heavy, though. I guess. For a second, I lost. I thought I lost the front. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to let the, the winds kind of take me out. Try not to run aground. Unfortunately, I'm spending most of my time face down in the water. Oh, this might be it for me. Yep. Alright, well, luckily we're right next to... We're right next to an island. Oh! For just a moment there, we were actually able to see the world as it was. Where's where's the air? Where's air? Are we in air? Is okay. There's there's an island. I was flung into the sky. Okay. Oh, I'm 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 safe. I'm safe. Boop. Okay. So we want to do. We got to get some weight on the back here. Can I do that? Okay. That's something. Can I have this below? Okay, can you guys lay off on the storms while I'm working on the ship at the very least? Because it's only going to make this slower and less crash-worthy. I don't want to have to turn it off just because. Yes. I like the idea of storm mode. But while I'm building, it's just kind of like, man, what's the what's the point of me even doing this? I will I will turn it back off permanently if like you guys are just going to be annoying about it though. Because, like, if I can't make a ship, uh, functional, because it's just, like, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. Alright, fuck it. It's going off. Let's see, twitch integration, and no more storms. All right. Well, the back's a little bit more stable. Uh, you know what? If the back's more stable, maybe 
Let's go back for a second. Uh, let's, let's get rid of this. I'm going to bring this back. And let's get that second sail on. And you know what? This is probably stable enough now. So I can probably put the torches out here. Still want to figure out a good way of hanging the lanterns, because I like the idea of hanging lanterns. But... There we go. Okay. Well, we already lost a piece. It wasn't a very necessary piece. So the one problem is we are a bit slower in the water than last time. So let's let's go back again. <laughs> let's not do that. Or that. Okay. Kind of hard to remove these barrels. Uh, I'm going to move the barrels underneath. Why do these fall off so easily? I have no idea. Okay, uh, do we want that? No, we want to move this back a bit. There we go. And yellow, if I can... There we go. Okay, so that should, uh... That should solve some of our problems. With this. Keep it above the water a little bit better. And also keep the back end down. Which was, like, a legitimate problem. Okay. Anyway, set sail. Notice the back part gonna just bop off again. Yeah, it does. For some reason, that's just super breakable. I'm not really sure why. Okay. Well, front's still kind of low in the water. Maybe I should move the barrels back up. I'm surprised because I, I focused all the the uh, the boxes on the back end. We already have a man of war. Okay. I mean, it still works pretty well. It's just a little sinky on the front side. Well, if I moved, if I moved the yellow barrels. Not the yellow barrels, just all of the barrels up. That would do it. Trying to think of what else there would be. To, like, stabilize this. Because most of the, uh, most of the pre-built blueprints are, like, these really fancy boats. Like, they look really nice. But I can never control them particularly well. I think he's front heavy. Really? I really like for the amount of shit that I stacked on the back side, I don't think I'd be front heavy. It might also be uh It might also be Oh I'm gonna run aground here. Actually I'm just yeah, I'm gonna run aground. Uh Oh, no, I pressed R! Shit. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's move the barrels forward. I wonder if the yellow barrels are actually a different buoyancy. Nope, same buoyancy. But yeah, let, let's move it up and let's, let's see if the, uh, added buoyancy in the front makes a difference. The sails are heavy. You know, that's a good point. It's being, uh, pushed forward. Okay. Let's try and... There we go. It's surprisingly difficult sometimes to get the right points to line up. Half the time I feel like I'm just attaching stuff to the, the backside. Okay. Let's try this again. I don't know what the, uh, the optimum division between those sails are, but that's okay. Alright. Well, so far so good. Front side is no longer going underwater. So that's good. There we go. Well, even if I uh, have to redo the little bit of the journey, we are making this boat better. I mean, it pretty much is quickly just becoming the Azeroth again. 
but... I feel like I'm better informed, at the very least. But yeah, it's it, it's absolutely the uh, the physics from the sails pushing it down. I It's been a long time since I've taken any kind of physics class, and the idea of boat physics is not something that uh, was covered ever. Like, at the very most, we, we did buoyancy. But the idea of buoyancy with the added uh, vector of a sail on a stick coming off the top, uh, plus, like, proper weighting and buoyancy of various parts, like, that's very clearly something else. Than just, like, something that would be covered in a high school physics class. And then it went into art, so it's not like, uh, it's not like I'd really understand... Uh, like the the really nitty gritty details about any of this. I mean, for the most part, it's actually super, uh, super easy to just pick up and understand. But every once in a while, I'm just like, why is this happening? It's usually when the water starts like freaking out and f sending me flying up into space. Wonder, can you grab up random barrels out of the ocean? No, I can't. I can only uh, do you see the blue beacons on the horizon? That's where I get my parts. Uh, each blue beacon is a new ship part. That I can get along the way. Okay. Well, we're making it along. This... Every boat iteration is better. Unfortunately, we are still very heavily, uh... Heavy, heavily shackled to the winds, and until I forget the uh, proper usage of the triangle sail to, to go against the wind. I don't even know if you can go against the wind particularly quickly. It just seemed sluggish in comparison. I don't actually know if it's faster or slower than, like, going in mo giant spirals around the whole map. But... Let's see. But at least this way, I feel like I'm make it, making it somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, do you think you could build a jelly-eating shark ship? I'd need the parts for it. It's very possible that I, I will be able to. But I, I desperately uh, need more parts before I can make, like, a shark ship. You see my bow? That is the only bow I have. It'd be neat if I could actually, if I could actually make that. The one thing I might... See if I could do is actually get some um, angled blocks at some point. If I can, uh, if I can make kind of like a, a jelly plow, that would be kind of nice. See if I can get the jellyfish to like float off in front of me, or if it is just thoroughly entangled with me. Nope, that thing is stuck. All right. Doing great with future parts, the right boat will get you ten times faster. That is horrifying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to control that. I feel like I'm just going to uh, <laughs> run aground on it, everything at ten times speed. But yeah, that is a good point that we're just rolling the uh, the most big be uh, beginner parts. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to that island. There's a chime there. I can always swim the rest of the way. It just gets kind of weirdly up. Awkward. Oh. You can go step on the jellyfish. Okay. Huh. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Okay! That is... Ooh, animations get funky. Alright. Well, I got rid of the Man of War. Was not expecting that okay I should probably I should probably be very careful here otherwise we're going to lose everything I think at this distance I can totally swim that I'm fairly certain I can pretty much swim anything. 
As long as I keep my head above water. I don't know if we have a stamina meter. Well, see ya, Pyro. Good luck. I believe in you.